patient, you basically have two types of fears. There's the fear of what's going to happen to me on a daily basis, and there's also the fear of what your ultimate outcome is going to be. With a child with cardiac problems, you literally have to fear uh, whether they're going to survive. I promised my daughters I'd dance with them at their wedding, and I fully intend to keep that promise. I would explain uh, Host for Hospitals to the outside world as the way the world's supposed to be. Host for Hospitals to me is a wonderful program. It's like angels on earth. Good morning. Hi, Jim. Oh, hey, Jim. It's people that offer their home to take care of people that need help. We are handicapped accessible. We're close to many of the major hospitals. Um, it's really, it's like a home away from home for people. Host for Hospitals has been able to alleviate some of that strain for those patients by giving them a comfortable, free place to stay with a host family. I am a cancer survivor myself, and the co-founder, Mike Aikenbaum, and myself came to creating Host for Hospitals out of our own personal experiences. Back in 1988, I had not been feeling especially well. Uh, my diagnosis was acute leukemia. I uh, we went to a specialist and he told me there was nothing that could be done for me. But my family researched it and they decided that Sloan Kettering in Manhattan was the place for me to go given my illness. And the doctors there gave me a heavy course of chemotherapy. I received a bone marrow transplant from my brother and a year and a half later they pronounced me cured. But uh, it cost us $20,000 to rent an apartment for $3,000 each month. After I had my illness, I realized firsthand what the need was and we did learn about a program in Boston that was doing this type of thing. I realized that it could be done in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love. Let's try. And so we established Toast for Hospitals. One of the first things we did when we set up Host for Hospitals, we talked with the people at Ronald McDonald House to make sure that they really wanted to partner with us. And of course they did, because for both organizations, the goal is providing lodging for patient families. And even families with children, many times we're full. We have a waiting list of, of at least 25 to 30 many nights. So uh, we're more than happy to refer families to find a place to stay that's free and comforting and uh, supportive. Since the founding of Hosts for Hospitals in 2000, the demand for lodging has increased so much that we are now approaching 10,000 nights of lodging each year. In terms of the number of patient families lodged, this means providing lodging for over 250 patient families a year. In terms of the number of hosts who have provided lodging, about 400 host families have welcomed patient families into their homes. And regarding money saved, since the year 2000, these host families have saved their patient families a combined total of over $3.5 million.